Previously on Fly With A Guy. If you've been around long enough, you know we stay with employment, okay? <laughs> There's always a check coming. As you all, we are going to Paris tonight. Our regular three-day trip. Industry term, slam click refers to crew members who choose to not um, engage others or do anything on the layover. So when we come in the room, we slam the door and we click the lock. I already tested this, by the way, because y'all know how I am. My history with hotel irons has not been the best. I need to know that the heat is penetrating and the steam is just going through every follicle in the fabric. I've been trying to make my wallet fold all day. Cashing in my dreams, big payout. Underneath my money tree, big say. Hey, freaking flyers. Welcome back to another video on the channel. I'm Brandon, international flight attendant, a guy who flies. So today, I know I told y'all the last time. Approved, so I do not have to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> Editing Brandon here, just coming on to say all of this was a waste of time because I ended up giving the whole trip away, y'all, so that I could just be off from the 7th until the 20th. Yeah, somebody was dropping this trip and I was like, let me just make up these hours that I had erased from my schedule. So we are going on a three day Paris tonight. The current time is 8.55. I'm in the employee lot here at Fort Lauderdale. The flight leaves at 9.45. It's about to start boarding. As I was pulling in, there was a bus at the last pickup spot leaving. So I'm just kind of watching before the next one starts to come around because I'm not about to stand out there in this 94 degree heat. Keep me out to New York and then we'll see what happens from there right now i have no plan so i know i always say that and then i end up doing something in new york but today i really don't have any plan Tell you what I have going on today. We are going on a three-day trip tonight. We are working to Paris. Interestingly enough, when I looked at the um, crew, I recognized three names. Paris crew that I've flown with before. So I'm like, okay, I'm learning more of Paris crew than I'm learning JFK crew. But it's all good because they're good people to work with and then i saw like a whole bunch of extra names and so i was like wait a minute what kind of flight did i swap into i'm thinking like why do we have so many crew members like is it some type of special flight some type of charter or something crazy and no it's a bunch of other flight attendants but they are doing their familiarization flight so i have a bunch of extra crew members which would be nice because we have a ton of hands so i swapped into a good trip so in theory, I shouldn't have to work as hard because we're sharing the wealth with a lot of people. But that is that. I've been in Queens, I was chilling. I got a lot of work done today. I told you all a long, 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 long time ago that I was working on a professional project. And I kind of like took a break from it because I kind of lost my inspiration for it. But like now that's back. So I've been like putting all of my effort and my energy into the project. So I've been working on that. When it gets done, I will share what it actually is. And then, hopped on the air train over here. I actually ran into someone. Hey, Michael, how are you? Thank you for coming and um, speaking because I love when people do that. And I'm looking to make more connections with folks here in New York because there's a lot of y'all up here in New York. My show time is 11 o'clock and I have like a, pretty much an hour and a half. I'm gonna drink my Celsius during our crew briefing. So then it can be like kicked in once we take off. Cause that's what I'm gonna need. Free 
three right, three left. We don't have the water bottles here in the front for premium. Can you bring the water bottles and start putting the water bottles, please, on the seat so we can start uh, the boarding? Thank you. So on the plane, uh, lots of familiar faces. It's like a huge crew, but it is perfect because we are a completely sold out flight going to Paris. So it'd be nice to have the extra hands. And uh, I, the person had assigned me the three left position, but I talked to the other JFK crew, and she likes to be three left, and I like to be on the right side. She got assigned four right, so we just swapped. So now I'm in charge of the gallery. The back alley. So yeah, um, we're gonna make it shake and bake and do what we need to do. I think we're about to start boarding soon, so I'm about to start working on my meals and getting all of um, that together. All right, so I'm gonna do a little bit of work while we're still on the ground. Not too much though, just enough to get me started. And then we took off and I got really into action once we were in the air. Although I didn't get as much footage of me like prepping for first service as I did for second service. So this was before first service and then we did that and then I went on first break. And this is when I got back up. So this is the second half of the flight where I'm actually cleaning up everything from first service and getting ready for our arrival service which we do typically like an hour hour and a half out from landing depending on how many um, passengers we have on board So you'll see me like checking lists and checking it twice and checking it a third time because this was my first time doing this particular position by myself and I just wanted to make sure I got it right. But nonetheless, um, I really enjoy first break because if I have to work in the galley, like second break when you come back, there's less people to kind of be in the way so you can just move all around the way and do everything that you need to do and the cabin is dark and it's quiet with the exception of co-workers who will keep you awake so we are always bouncing around and we're just taking care of each other while we're in the air and really having a good time but you'll see me right before second break is over and those crew members are starting to come back i'm going to start setting up the cart so that everything is ready to push out and go as soon as uh, it's time to start second service. So timing is everything. So you gotta, you really wanna make sure that you are hitting the mark and getting everything ready and prepared the way it's supposed to be and when it's supposed to be. And before long, second break will be over and it will be time to wake up the passengers for the arrival service. It's dark in the cabin, but it's like bright, bright outside. Shout out to the dimmable windows on the 787. And before we knew it, we were in Paris. So while we were in the air, we got notifications of schedule changes and our hotel has changed. So we're not at our regular hotel. I'm, this thing just keep going and going and going wait a minute this is the numbers is not i think i'm going the wrong i passed my room oh god i am ready to get in the shower now i know he said i'm in 327 it's 320, so 327 should be right here. Wait a minute. I know you're lying. 2 all we have made it fight was really well like I told you all we had the three additional new I don't want to call them new hires because I'm a new hire 
the three other flight attendants who were doing their fan flights on, so we had a big crew. They did really well. It was my first time riding the galley, and I got a lot of praise at the end of the flight for how efficient everything was set up, so we did that. We now have 27 hours and 40 minutes left. Some of the other crew, first time in Paris, they want to go do the sightseeing, the going out and doing the thing. So we're going to meet downstairs at 427. So it gives me about an hour and a half to take a shower and decompress, get unpacked and do all the things. Um, today is the 15th, so it was payday. So I landed to money in the bank. And also I got the notification that our schedules came out and oh my gosh, what the schedule phenomenal so yes um right now i'm in really good spirits this hotel gives us a welcome drink i'm going to take the strongest offering which i could not consume in uniform so that's why i need to hurry up and you know get in plain clothes so i can go partake in the, the welcome beverage so currently downstairs they offer i told y'all the welcome drink do you remember what's in this all i remember is gin gin tea and what kind of tea? Um, I don't know. She didn't say what kind of tea. And then she said mango, like syrup. The welcome drink is welcoming. Let's just say that it's a good little precursor before we get about again. Okay, so it is currently what time is it? Six thirty. How many? sights do y'all think we can see? Seems appropriate. I'm dead. <laughs> this is the burger of the day, and I'm thinking it's chorizo on top of the beef with fries and coleslaw. Pop that cat, pop that cat, pop, pop, pop that cat. <laughs> pop my butt, pop, pop my butt. Do you know what pop my butt meant to Harriet Tubman? Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up. It's only like a, um, let me stop lying because when I start off saying it's only like a, I'm about to lie about the you distance. You got one in front of me? Yes. And another number? I think it's, I don't think it's a 10 minute. He said he on a bicycle. He could do whatever the f he want. You know what? I don't need to know numbers because then I'm like, I'm gonna regret the walk. So I'm gonna just buy. I'm gonna just walk. You want to know the, the the length of time in a car or, or with a walk? In the car. In a car, it would take. A route can't be shown because of a problem connecting to the server. What that lady did to my phone when she charged it <laughs> she for didn't me? Take your f car. She took my. Bro, hey Siri, where is the hood in Paris? To do that, you will need to be online. Oh, <laughs> oh now she puts your business out there. <laughs> <laughs> right. My girl, we are online. AOL, America Online. Where is the hood at? Where is the dangerous parts of Paris? Like, hey, Siri. sketchy. Take a us little... to the hood. Right, that part. I don't see any matching places. Okay, this is dangerous for me. How does this work? Me use. The prize ranch. It's something else. Not ranch? It's not ranch. Let me try it. It tastes like a, um, you know how a 
That's my take. That's good. Bring the snap wrap back to America. There's a fried sauce. What is a fried sauce? Did you get a fried sauce? Okay, I'm gonna force it to focus. It's just like I remember. Bring this back to America. Oh, wait a minute. Why well, I got a notification from Uber? Did I actually order Uber? Of course. It's almost 2 o'clock in the morning. Last train back on. So, here we are. One time we was around that city trying to find some option. And it was on right here at the lid of a hotel. Because why is y'all still down at the bar party? And can I join? I just want somebody to tell me at what age am I gonna stop acting like I can party all night and bounce right back. But oh, oh. I cannot wait to get in this shower, y'all. I don't care about nothing in this room. I'll get it tomorrow. Good night. I can't let you mind that black more. Thank you, Paris. <laughs> so, good morning, y'all. No, it's not good morning. It's afternoon at this point because we slept in and we slept in hard. And I probably would still be asleep except housekeeping came knocking on this door even though I had that do not disturb sign on that. Now they did wait to afternoon. I'm gonna give them a pass because this is not our normal crew hotel. They probably didn't know that we was crew and it probably wasn't put in there that we was leaving at six or whatever time we leave. I don't think I told y'all yesterday, there's no refrigerator in this room. Don't like that. There's also not an iron, an ironing board in this room. There's like a ironing room at the end of the hallway. I guess it's just communal use. Don't like that. I basically ended up taking my whole lunch tote full of food downstairs to the front desk and I was like, can y'all put this somewhere to keep it cold? Because yeah, I'm not wasting my food. I haven't had access to my food, but I didn't need it. I was, you know, in the city all day yesterday, which was great. And we didn't get back here until the wee early hours of the morning. But now I'm hungry. So I'm gonna go downstairs and get my bag, get my food. And we're gonna come back up here and hibernate some little more. All right, finally have possession of my bag. And everything is very chill. But I did warm up some food while I was down here to eat with my salad. I'm gonna finish my watermelon because it's not gonna make it. It's all soft and now it's really juicy. So if I probably finish what of that is still edible. And the rest of this is for the flight back and the commute back home to my mini. So y'all, it is time to get ready to go to work. I told you we didn't have no iron in the room, so I got a shirt and toe headed to go iron it. Not yesterday, the day before yesterday. The 14th was actually the one year anniversary the airline that I worked so for, so happy birthday Nordstrom, because you know I will never say what airline I work for, but at this point, can't use contact clues in the videos, I can't help you. It's been one year since the first, first flight. There was a base celebration like at each, each station across the um, network, and the one was in J JFK was Wednesday when I commuted. I didn't go to it. Cause it was like upper Manhattan, almost in the Bronx. Yeah, I wasn't going all the way out there. The one for Paris is actually today. So I think our report time isn't until 6.30, but we're gonna leave early to go and be a part of that. I also did not bring enough salad dressing for both of my salads. So I need to like go by Mark and Spencer's to get some more. It is currently 4.45 and we have a 5 o'clock show time in the lobby so 
Let me get this ball rolling. All right, y'all, pull it together in 15 minutes. Oh yeah, that one is good. But the yellow can. So I'm looking for the chips, but I guess because this isn't a full market, they don't have them in here, which sucks. Let me ask somebody. Alright y'all, much later, been back at uh, JFK for a while. We had a really pleasant flight, JFK crew, Paris crew, some more familiar faces. I told y'all, I'm working my way around the Paris crew. We did go and hang out with them. They were doing their base celebration today, so we did that before our report, which was really nice. We had one less person because we did have a crew member who had a medical incident on the flight out. She's okay, but she just didn't fly the flight back, so she deadheaded. I got to work mid-cabin, galley position. I am definitely now a galley person. Never in a million years would I thought I'd be saying that, but yeah. I'm out here working galley, y'all, and it's good. Like, it's real. I even burned myself. Oh, you see, it's on this side of my hand. You really can't tell it, though. I made it to New York, hung out with some people, and now I'm about to try to get home. The flight in the morning is over so by 7. So, we've been here before. There's nothing new. All I need is a piece of the scene at this point. Wow. Yeah, we made it home, y'all. We made it home. We made it home. Mmm. When I tell you by the grace of God. Flight was over so by seven. When I got there, the flight was 100% checked in. One of the things I remember about my time working there, the number of tickets sold versus the number of tickets checked in versus the number of people who actually show up and make the flight can always be different. So I held a little, a, a little bit of hope. Then, all three of the jump seats in the back were in op. So that meant they had to block regular passenger seats for the crew that sit in the back to sit in, which meant there was going to be less seats. And then I'm standing there still holding in hope. Like 15 minutes into the boarding process, another agent was like, hey, you trying to get on this one? Fort Lauderdale or, or Orlando? And I'm like, I'm trying to get on Fort Lauderdale. And he was like, so, I know you know it's already it's sold out, but also, it's payload restricted because there are so many bags, so we can't even fill it to capacity. Oh! I just have to go in the bush and weep. Really. I, I don't understand. When I tell y'all, like, I think at that point, the sweat probably started just pouring. Like, I think, oh my God, I was like, bruh, at the last minute. There was three passengers that didn't show up, and we got a seat. That's all I need. Oh, I forgot to tell you all, like, the highlight of this whole trip was coming back from Paris. I was working the deli cart and rode up on a passenger, and I look over, and she was wearing the Beyonce Renaissance t-shirt, the one that came in the box set. There was four you could choose from, four poses, and it's the same one that I got. And so I was like, oh my gosh, like, I love your shirt. She was like, thank you. I said, it's the same one I got. And she was like, have you seen the show? I was like, no, I haven't. I'm like, I was like, I have tickets for the very last show. It's in September. I got a long time to wait. And she was like, and I asked her, has she seen it? She was like, yes. She said she saw it in Marseille. Marseille? Marseilles? So I'll put it on screen. And then she said she's actually going to see it again in Boston. And I was like, low-key jealous. She was like, you should definitely try to see it before your actual showing if you can. So, you know. I put it in the work, but that's the highlight of the trip. Paris is over and done. We come back in like four days. We'll be going right back to work. New destination about to get unlocked, y'all. So, yeah, that's about to be what's up. Um, thank you for watching. If you made it this far, I'm Brandon. I'm a guy who flies, and I will see you all the next time. Dorothy.